The second question from WhatsApp. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Saheb. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Muhammad Nawaz, university teacher from Peshawar, Pakistan. Alhamdulillah, I have studied the Quran. I want to study other religions. What way should I adopt to study comparative religion? If there are your lectures in which you have taught the way, so please share the link. The brother has said that he has studied the Quran. He wants to study comparative religion. So can I guide him which lecture should he refer to? Is there any talk of mine, any program where I teach about comparative religion? There are many of my talks, my public lectures, which are on comparative religion. And there are books written by me. Since you are from Pakistan, you can surely in the religion that you should concentrate more on comparative religion is Hinduism and Christianity. Since these two religions are the religions which are maximum followed uh, besides Islam. So if you want to study on comparative religion Hinduism, my talk on similarities between Hinduism and Islam is a very good talk. You can even refer to my talk on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the various world religious scriptures. You can refer to my talk on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Hindu scriptures. There is also a talk of mine, concept of God in major world religions. Regarding Hinduism, you can refer to my talk as well as my book on similarities between Islam and Christianity. You can refer to my book on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Bible. And the other lectures and books on concept of God in major world religion, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the various world religious scriptures and various lectures of mine are there on compassion religion like Salah, the program into righteousness. These talks, if you hear, it is mainly based on one of the important verses of Dawah where Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 64, Kul Yahal al-Kitab, see your people of the book. Ta'alo ila kalimatin sawa im bainuna bainakum. Come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term, Allah, na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nushika bihi shayyo. That we associate no partner with him. Wala yittakhida baadun abadun arbaabun mirindin illa. That we erect not among ourselves. Lords and pit other than Allah. Fain tawallah. Then if you turn back. Faqullu shaddu. Say ibe witness. Be anna muslimoon. That we are muslims. Bawing awil to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the master key for dawah. Allah says, Ta'alo ila kalimatin sawa im bainan o bainakum. Come to common terms as between us and you. So while doing da'wah to a non-Muslim, it's very important that if you start with common terms, inshallah you'll be able to break the ice and you'll be successful. So you can start talking about common terms and Allah reminds us here in this verse. The most important is Allah, na'buda illallah, that we worship them but Allah. That we associate no partner with him. That we associate no partner with him. So while you're doing da'wah, you can start with things which a common for example science or maybe literature or whatever you feel is common between the person you're speaking and yourself or the religion who you're talking about and Islam but your main aim should be Tawheed you may convince him to be truthful you may convince him not to have alcohol you may convince him not to have pork but if you do not remove the shirk from the life of your friend or the person you're talking to your dawah is useless the most important is Tawheed. You can talk about other things, but the most important is Tawheed. If you are not able to remove the shirk in his life, if you are not able to instill Tawheed, your dawah is useless. So in comparative religion, the most important point of comparative religion is the concept of God in major world religions. If you are speaking to a Christian, you should try and prove Tawheed from the Bible. First you have to prove that Jesus Christ peace be upon him. He never claimed divinity. And we can prove from the Bible, and I say that in my talk and in my book, there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ peace be upon himself says that he is God or he says worship me. He says I am God or he says worship me. And you can hear my talks. So similarly when you are doing dawah to a Hindu, your first concept should be that you should remove the idol worship from the life of the Hindu. Prove to him that according to the Veda, there is one God, you should worship him alone, Almighty God has got no image. So your first aspect of Dawa is Tawheed, concept of one God, that we worship him alone and no one else.
So while doing dawa, this is the most important aspect. So first you should master the commonalities between the concept of God and Islam and other religion and try and win him over to Tawheed. The second most important aspect while doing dawa, which is the pillar of Islam, first pillar, we bear witness that there is no God but Allah and we bear witness that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. The second aspect of dawa is to prove to the non-Muslim that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can start with you know, proving him about science, if you think he is a man of science, no problem. But your final goal should be first Tawheed, second is the Risala, that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger. As I mentioned earlier, I have given talks on this topic. Muhammad, peace be upon him in the Bible, Muhammad, peace be upon him in the Hindu scriptures, Muhammad, peace be upon him in the world religious scriptures. And then you can go on for Akhira and for Salah and various aspects. But these two are the most important aspects. And if you are able to convince the non-Muslim on these two aspects, he can enter the fold of Islam. The remaining will follow. As far as knowing the structure or how should you be well versed in compassionate religion or how should you do dawa, I would, I would advise you that you can visit our platform Al Hidayah. Al Hidayah is the largest Islamic platform, Islamic video on demand platform in the world. It has the largest number of Islamic courses in the world. There are more than 200 Islamic courses on that, out of which many of the courses are by me and many on comparative religion. And there are thousands of hours of Islamic video on this platform. This platform is absolutely free. You can visit it. And there is a course which is called as Let's Become Effective Dai. The International Dawa Training Program. It's a long course. And if you take this course, you know, there's a study guide, there are questions. Inshallah, that will help you a lot in the comparative religion and will help you to become a good dai also. Hope that answers the question.